Hey what's up everyone, welcome to another tutorial. Today I will be showing you how to do these easy topographic lines. And when I say it's easy, it's really easy. It's just a sequence of effects on one layer and then you duplicate that layer a couple times, tweak a little bit of the settings. Some of you have probably already tried something like this but just couldn't figure out how to create these circles inside circles and how to not have the borders or the lines intersect with each other. So it's actually really easy. And to create these different spacings in depth, you just adjust one little slider and that's it. So you can change the color of the lines you can change the thickness of the lines and of course you can make it transparent like this and you can just render out one single png frame from this and use it in your projects you can randomize this completely to have a completely different height map you don't even have to animate it but that just looks nice for the preview um so yeah that's pretty much the intro that's everything you can do with this and i will be showing you how to do it right now so let's start off by creating a new composition I'm gonna go to composition and just new composition i'm gonna call mine tutorial and the settings don't really matter i just have 30 fps uh, 920 by 1080 doesn't really matter what you do it'll work fine i'm gonna turn off the transparency first i'm gonna start off by creating a new solid and just right clicking new and new solid and i'm just gonna give this a and i'm gonna call this solid one so i just know this is the first layer we're gonna go to effects and in the effects panel we're gonna type in fractal noise it should already pop up if you just type this make sure you pick fractal noise not just fractal and just drag it on there so we're gonna adjust the effects a little bit there's not much we have to do but just a few little tweaks we're gonna start off by going to transform and increasing the skill to 300 next i'm gonna decrease the complexity to 2 next i'm gonna alt click the evolution and type in time times 5 this will make sure our fractal noise is animated subtly for the next effect we're gonna apply a threshold effect so we're just gonna type in threshold and we can just drag that on there as well and you can already see we have this nice little shapes i'm gonna set my threshold level on 200 and basically what a threshold effect does it only looks at the luminance level of a layer and then in this case everything under a 200 level will be turned to black everything above that will be turned to white so if we decrease this we can see that everything turns white and if we increase it it will turn black the levels of a threshold effect only go from 0 to 255 and that has to do with color coding next i'm gonna apply the extract effect just type it in there and drag it on and if we turn on the transparency grid first and then increase the black point upwards we can see that the black gets removed from our layer so we know we now only have the white shapes left i'm gonna turn this off again so i can clearly see my white shapes the next effect that we're gonna apply is simple choker so we can just type that in and drag it on there as well so what a choker does it basically slims your layer or it extends it so if i just increase the choke mat you can see that it gets slim and smaller but if we decrease it to a negative value it will extend the shape so if we turn on the transparency grid again and then decrease it to a negative value we can see that it gets extended by a black outline i'm personally gonna set mine to five so this is what i was talking about with different width of the outlines if you want a thicker line you just have to decrease this choke mat even more but i'm gonna stick to five because that's how i like it the next effect that we're gonna apply is extract once more but this time we're gonna decrease the white point all the way to zero and this leaves us with just the black outline so first we remove the black then we create a black outline and then we remove the white so we're just left with the black outline and then for the final effect i'm gonna apply a fill effect and that makes sure that we can change the color of our outline if i toggle the transparency grid again we can see that we're left with a really nice white outline you can also change the color of this of course to like a nice dark gray and just mess around with that as well i'm gonna stick to white for now so you're probably wondering how do you create a nice depth map and that's really easy we're just gonna duplicate this first layer and in the second layer we have we're gonna decrease the threshold level to 185 and then we're gonna duplicate it once more again minus 15 and then once more minus 15 and then for the last time i'm gonna set it to 120 and you can see we have this really cool depth map and now if you want you can customize this really easily by just selecting a random layer messing around with the matte choker so if we increase this you can see that the line is thicker i'm gonna do the same for my bottom layer just increase it a little bit and i personally want the bottom layers to be a little bit darker and the higher layers to be wider then i'm gonna select my top layer scroll down a bit to the fill effect and just select a nice dark color I'm gonna do the same for each layer and just each time increase the lightness a little bit and that's how you create this really cool depth map that's pretty much it so if you want fill colors you can just select one of these layers remove the seconds extract effect and you can just keep the fill effect if you want all your layers to have a fill effect make sure that the order is from top to bottom because if we take the lowest layer and remove the second extract effect you can see that it blocks everything underneath so we just want to switch the order and that's how it works 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Lastly, I will show you how to render a frame of this. I'm gonna turn on the extract effect for this last one. You don't even need Adobe Media Encoder for this. You can just go to Composition, Add to Render Queue, and go to Output Module, set the format to PNG. That's it, just press OK, and go to the render settings, and you kinda want one frame. So you can see right now it's going to render out 30 seconds with 30 frames for each second, and I don't want that. So what you can do is just press OK, Go back to your tutorial, press B once and N once on your keyboard and this will shorten your composition duration. And if we now add to render queue again and go to render settings, you can see that it will only render out one frame. The duration is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. And that basically means that it will only render out one frame. So if we go to output module again and change the format to PNG. Next, make sure you change the channel from RGB to RGB plus alpha and press OK. And now you can pretty much render out your PNG image. Okay guys, so that was the tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. Have fun with your esports maps. Please don't be corny and sell this in a graphics pack. Instead, just link them to my tutorial if they want to know how to do this. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe to my channel know we've been gaining like a lot of subscribers daily i'm really thankful for that thank you for watching the video and i will see you in the next video bye everyone